Hi everyone, this is Gleeza made with Glee. In today's video, I'm participating in the Christmas DIY Ornament Challenge issued by the lovely Heidi Sanbo and the very pretty Natalie from Design to the Nines. They wanted us to create a DIY Christmas ornament and share the process with you. And I decided to address this big pile, this box is getting more full and can't close, of scrap fabrics that I have. Um, I, I am, it's overwhelming sometimes. So I decided to go through that box and I pulled out all of the very tiny pieces of scraps that I had. Things that I absolutely will not be using. I, I have good ideas and intentions, but I, I, I'm, I doubt I'll ever sew these things. So I decided I'm gonna take those very small, tiny pieces and create an ornament. So now I got my glass ball ornament from Michaels after Christmas last year on Clarence, and I am just taking Mod Podge, applying that to the actual ornament, and then layering my bits and pieces of scrap fabrics. And I just decided for these two particular ornaments, I used only red, green, and a little touch of white. I have so many different colors and I can make so many different ornaments um, from all these different fabrics. But for this particular video, we're just going to make some very Christmassy, farmhouse, uh, folk, artsy type ornaments. I, I think they look like patchwork quilts and I absolutely love how they turned out. So again, I'm just gluing the little bits of pieces of fabric all the way around. For this particular one, I did red around the majority of it and then green towards the top. So it looks kind of like a giant berry or apple or a fruit or something like that. And the other one, I put in a touch of white hair in there to give it more of the patchwork look. So again, it's just a matter of sticking this and playing with the fabric your choice you can cut them into even smaller pieces if you needed to but here i'm just using the things that i had in my box of scraps and i really need to like i said i really need to to make a dent in that because i can't fill it up with more scraps without getting rid of some of these things if not i'm gonna have to buy a whole new box just for scraps and i don't want to do that so i will be trying to use as much as possible but for this one it just took i don't know a handful Full of scraps to complete an ornament. I am sure you can find enough scrap fabric around in your craft room to do this. And if you don't sew and you don't have fabrics, you can certainly do this process with tissue paper or gift wrapping paper or even scrapbooking paper. But here we're using, again, leftover fabrics from all of my different quilting projects. And it was actually fun to do this because as I'm making it, I remember which projects I sewed to get which pieces of fabric from. So once our Mod Podge is completely dry, it's now time to just decorate our uh, little ornament. And you can go any route you wanted. You could have used glitter ribbon, red and green, completely up to you. But I happen to have this plaid uh, checkerboard, buffalo check, whatever you guys call it. I know it's in, on trend right now, so I decided why not use that. And I added some, or a piece I should say, of a... Uh, garland tie from the Dollar Tree and also leftover berries and holly leaves uh, that were you know used in other DIYs and things that I had left over to actually go ahead and decorate my ornaments. So that's pretty much it. Very easy, fun to use up all the scraps of fabric and you know if you used, you made a project for someone sewed something you can use all the scraps and maybe make an ornament that goes with that gift that you're going to be giving them and they can coordinate and you could tie that on your package so that's just an idea um, to tie the ornament with the gift together if you wanted to do something like that if you guys have any questions about how i did this feel free to leave it um, a comment in the comment box below but in the meantime i will be leaving both of our hostesses channels as well as the playlist so that you can get lots of great christmas diy ornament ideas that you can try and create yourself this year have a wonderful day everyone and thank you again for watching please don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button see you in another video soon bye